Hey fellow crafters, it's Minecraft by Sabrina, where our crafts are anything but square. Today I'm going to share with you how to do a score and slice layer, which is just taking all of your layers, converting it to a score path, so then that gives you an exact position on where to glue any layers that need to go on top of that base. We're going to do this in Cricut Design Space, but before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe if this is your first time to my channel. To get started, we need to open Design Space and start a new project. Now we need to insert an image by going to Images or clicking on Upload. If you go to Images, here you have full access to any of the images at your disposal. I'm going to go through Uploads because I've uploaded my image. If it's not a recent upload, then click on View All. This is going to take you right back into the Images menu, but this time it's going to be filtered on anything that you've uploaded. So I'm going to search for my image, I'll click on that image, and then select it and click on insert. It's going to then appear on my canvas. Once your project is ready to cut, you need to create your S squared layer. So go ahead and duplicate your entire project. And then you want to select on all of the layers that sit on top of your base layer and weld those together. Once it's welded, it's still a cut path, so you need to change the line type from cut to score. The score lines are black, so because of my black layer, it's hard to see them. Now that it's gray, you can see I have both a score layer and a base layer. Clicking on them simultaneously, I'm going to attach them, and this is going to keep them in place, so when they go to the mat, they stay together. Now that I have my S squared base layer, I no longer need the original, so I'm going to click on the eyeball in the Layers menu and hide it. Select Make It to send it to the mat. Once it's on the mat, you're going to see a mat for each colored layer. Your S squared layer is going to indicate it's going to score and cut this layer before it goes to the next step. Go ahead and click Continue in order to start your cut process. Although I started my design in Design Space, I'm going to cut it using the iPad so that I can use the Snap Mat feature. First, I need to place all of my cardstock onto my mat. Then on Design Space, move each layer onto one single layer. Click on the camera icon and take a picture of your mat that already has the cardstock on it. Now you can move and arrange your objects onto each colored cardstock as needed and click continue to continue with your cut process following all the menus on your screen. Following the prompts on your machine, you're gonna hit your blinking light so that it sucks in the mat and begins to cut. I really like this feature because not only can I cut multiple layers and colors at the same time, but I'm also able to see that my material is the right size for the object that I'm actually cutting. So it's a win-win. When it begins to do your S squared layer, it's going to first score and then cut. If you're using the scoring wheels, it's going to prompt you to remove the score wheel and add your knife blade. If you're using the scoring stylus, then it's simply going to score your project and then cut it once it's done scoring. On to assembly. Now this personally is my favorite part. It used to be my arch nemesis because I'm such a perfectionist, but S squared has completely taken the guesswork out of all layering. You can use any combination to assemble your project. Wet glue, glue sticks, hot glue gun, tape runner, sticker maker, you name it. If it works, have fun. I'm not faithful to any one glue or any one method. It really all depends on the material I'm gluing together and the relative size of each piece. I almost never use wet glue on cardstock because I don't like the way it warps. However, if you choose to use wet glue, you might want to go ahead and sandwich it in between some books or something in order to prevent that warping as it dries. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if this was their first time to my channel. And if this was helpful, don't forget to share it with a fellow crafter friend.